All right, let's start with a quick overview of the basic features of Mint. When you log in, you will default to your overview tab, and on the left-hand side is where you will see any account that you have connected to Mint. Uh, so you can get a snapshot of your net worth here, and with each account, it'll give you a timestamp of when it was last updated. And then you've got various alerts here that you can customize. And then you have the transaction tab. So any account that you have connected to Mint that you see in the overview tab, you will see the transactions for that account in the transaction tab. And once you connect an account to Mint, it will most likely pull the last 30 days or so of transaction. So immediately once you link an account, you'll have uh, some transactions pulled in that you can review. They also have this new bills feature to help remind you of when you have upcoming bills. I suggest automating as many of your bills as possible. Um, and then you know you might you might use this function to remind yourself to go check your checking account balance and make sure you've got enough cash in the account to cover the, the bill that you have automated. And then there's the budget tab where you'll spend most of your time. And you can see here I have all these bars are budgets that I have created. So I have a couple examples set up here already. And look you can look at the bar and it'll tell you, you know, this green portion you're you haven't overspent for the month yet. You've only spent 350 of the 2500 you have allocated to your bills and utilities budget. Um, down here, the red bar will note that you're over budget in a particular category. And then any transaction that does not hit one of your budget categories that you have set up is going to fall into everything else. So when you're reviewing Mint, you'll want to make sure that you look at this everything else section and, and make sure that all of these expenses um, that you you allocate them to the appropriate budget category unless you might want to leave things like transfers and credit card payments um, those are those are transaction types that are fine to leave under everything else because um, it's not it doesn't represent an actual expense it's just money moving from one count to the to the other and then another feature that I really like is this this bar with the various months from the past year so you can you can look at a budget category over the course of more than just a month. Um, you can look at the the last year, or so this is this year, we're only in January, you can look at last year's spending and then look at um, your year to date uh, and annual spending habits, which is helpful. And then another tab that I find really helpful is the trends tab. So there's this nice feature where you can, if you have all of your con accounts connected, you can keep track of your net worth. Um, it'll show you, I don't have things connected here, so, but you'll see a little bar chart. And then you, you might like this uh, uh, looking at your expense by category. And then you can even, you can even drill down and say groceries and then look at merchant. Uh, and then you can see, you know, how much you're spending at each month or over, you know, different period of time at different grocery stores. And then the other two tabs I wouldn't worry too much about. If you're using Mint primarily to track your expenses, you're going to spend most of your time on the Overview tab, Transactions, and Budgets, and then Trends if you want to dig down and see a little bit more information about how you're spending and what stores you're spending most of your money at.